What's up, Gold Digger? Kimberly Olson here for a training on recruiting. And if you want to build your business and you want to get more customers and more business builders, then you are in the right place because we are going to talk about what to do if you're struggling with your recruiting. And the five things I've been seeing with people I coach, people on my team, people that I interact with in Messenger and my previous self before I actually cracked the code when it comes to recruiting. If you guys don't know my story, I launched with my second company in January. We built a team to over 500. Um, counting customers were in the thousands in our downline. I've personally sponsored over 70 people. So these strategies work. I'm gonna share with you exactly what I do and you guys are gonna freaking love it, okay? So I wanna welcome you guys on and I wanna share something with you. Got a little thank you card in the mail. I should show you guys my folder, but I have a folder where I keep every single thank you card I get. And I won't say who, who sent this because it was private, but she said, Kimberly, I know God has plans for you that will blow some minds. Hooray! I will be your constant cheerleader. The world needs more women like you. And when I got that card, I, I cried, obviously. And I wanted to share that with you because my whole goal for doing these lives and working so tirelessly like a crazy person is to share with you what worked for me to allow me to break free. So if you guys don't know my story, I broke free of having a tormented mind, um, destructive behavior. I wasn't living the life I was intended to live. And I was able to build my business on the side, walk away from my corporate job a year ago, and really impact a lot of people. I have over 100,000 followers on social media. And my thing is I found what my passion is. I found that what I want to do is, is impact other people and elevate this industry specifically and help other women and moms to break free and create the life that they want. So when you find the thing that drives you, the thing that motivates you and you don't need external motivation, you won't have to try to work your business. You won't have to make yourself prospect. You won't have to make yourself set an alarm and say, oh, I got to get up and work on my business. You won't have to like drag yourself to your desk because a little confession, my old job, I had to do that. I had to make myself, because I was in sales, I had to make myself follow up with people because I was held accountable. I had to turn reports in and I couldn't stand it. So I want to encourage you to get really clear on what you're trying to do with your recruiting. Are you trying to recruit so you can hit that next rank? There's no substance there, my friends. There's no substance there. So what do you do when you sit down to prospect? You play around on Facebook and then you, oh, I'm so busy and I'm done. I, I ran out of time. Or when you reach out to people, you're feeling insecure and, and just not passionate. You're not excited. Have you ever heard of the phrase ignorance on fire? Well, when, we, when our team launched this year, we had no idea what we were doing. People were like, what's in it? I'm like, I don't know. It freaking makes me feel awesome. Next, like ignorance on fire. Then what happens? You start knowing too much and you start becoming uh, exhausted from, from all the work that you're doing and you forget about the passion and the excitement and the enthusiasm that you had for your opportunity when, I fir when you first started. Does that make sense? Oh, thank you, Carmen, I washed my hair. I'm too proud of me. I'm using the smoothing. If you guys, if anyone has frizzy hair, my hair is like Tina Turner gone bad and I live in Texas. So I'm using the smoothing shampoo and the deep smoothing conditioner, which is like a mask uh, two in one. It's amazing. Makes my hair not like freaking crazy. Thanks, girl. So what I want you to do is share with me when it comes to recruiting, do you feel like you're a strong recruiter? Do you feel like you're average? Do you feel like it's something you really struggle with? Like when you think about recruiting, you're just like, oh, you just like get a pit in your stomach, okay? I also wanna know if you're willing to share, are you clear on your, pa on your mission, on your passion? Like why are you here? Why are you on this earth? Remember this, your product and your opportunity is a vehicle to help other people be successful. I used to sell Cutco knives, you guys, freaking Cutco cutlery, and I helped hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of college students pay their way through college by selling knives. It wasn't about the knife. It was about the opportunity. The knife was just a vehicle for them to achieve what they wanted. And you have the same thing, you guys. So you've got to figure out, like, why are you here? Why are you, like, wanting to change people's lives and get really excited about it, totally geek out about it, talk about it all the time? Ignorance on fire is contagious. No one can mess with that. Okay, so let's get into it. Five things here I have for you. First thing why you're not getting results, you gotta let go of the fear. You have got to build a bridge and get over it. If you're just like, oh, I wonder what they're gonna say. This is this is what I see, red flag, when I know people, and you, you admit it, admit it, let me see it below. Red flag, when someone launches with a new company and they won't reach out to their warm market. Put guilty below, 
you know you have people on your list. If I if we did a one-on-one -on -one Zoom, I could dig it out of you. Okay, I know it's there. Why is that? Why are you not reaching out to your, market, your warm market? Oh, I burnt, I burnt my warm market out. I burnt, no, you didn't. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I think Ray Higdon said he failed with like 10 companies or something and he became the number one income earner. Do you think he had to go back to all those people that saw him fail, right? Okay, so when you think about why you're not reaching out to your warm market, it's because you fear their response. You fear the ridicule, you fear the judgment, you fear them doubting you and saying, oh, now what are you selling, right? Put guilty. Now, this is what's so interesting about that. That's all in your head. And if you get the one or the two or the three people that treat you that way, they're not your tribe. You can love them because you're related to them, but you can find a new tribe. I will be your tribe. You can come hang out with us gold diggers, okay? So. That's a clue. The other clue is when you get ready to post something and you don't hit post. When you go to hit that Facebook Live button and you don't go live, you are too worried about what other people think. You want me really want me to be really really honest. If you legit want to make it to the top of your company, or you legit, you're like, no man, I'm making a hundred bucks right now a month, and I want to make three hundred. I want to make four hundred. I want to make a thousand dollars a month for my family. I want to go walk up to my husband and say, hey, I covered the mortgage this month. How cool would that be? Hey, I covered the mortgage this month. He's like, how, how did you cover the mortgage this month from my network marketing business? If you want that to happen, the only way that's going to happen is if you stop worrying about what other people think. And you know, it's a little weird. I get it, but you just get to a point, go hang out with Christy Dilley. She's like my personal coach to just tell me she's honest AF. That's like her nickname. She just tells me, don't, who even cares? Who do those people? And I'm like, you're right. Who cares? It's not their life. They're just gonna go on being miserable or maybe they're happy. If they're happy, they're probably not gonna be mean to you though. So they're gonna go on just not liking their lives and they're projecting it on you. So you don't worry about those people. You create the life that you want. You impact, inspire, and motivate other people and don't worry about those people, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to marry the process, divorce the results. We went over this in Mastermind. Those that are in Mastermind, this we did that in the Monday Mastermind training today. We did posture and your sizzling story. Go watch that if you're in Mastermind. We talked about marry the process, divorce the results. I want you to strap your booty to your chair and you say to yourself, my non-negotiable number is, put it in the comments, what is your non-negotiable number of reach outs you will make to see if somebody, what you can connect with somebody that you've never connected with before? Not getting in the friend zone. Oh, Kimberly, I had 175 messages today. Yeah, but how many people did you expose? How many people did you tell? This is what I do. This is the product that I'm loving and this is why, okay? Strap your booty to the chair and you don't get up until you hit that number, okay? There have been some late nights for myself. I get it, but I'm committed and you can be committed as well. Number two is I want you to find a strategy that works for you. So I had this girl, she actually messaged someone on my team. I don't even, I don't even know who this girl is because there's just a lot of people that come my way. And I know you, like I know Candace on you, like I know a lot of you really, really well, but there's people that come and go that I don't know well. So I didn't even know who this person was. But she was like, oh, I didn't like what Kimberly taught. And, blah, blah, blah. and I thought, it's so interesting to me because, you know, my friend used to teach math for middle school and she said there's more than 10 different ways to solve a math problem. Just simple addition, simple subtraction. There's like 10 different ways a kid can go about that. So you wanna tell me a bunch of grown ASS people aren't gonna have more than one way to build their network marketing business? Relax, okay? So you're gonna hear me say, build relationships, offer value. You know, I'm, I'm more of a attraction marketing, slow your roll a little bit, okay? There are plenty of trainers out there that teach, go, go in for it quicker, right? Like just get the messages out, just numbers, cold messages. What I want you to do is I want you to try a couple things. Don't bounce from everything, but give it like a solid month. You're like, for one month, I'm going to do this. You'll know energetically if it's not the right fit. So you can figure this out pretty quickly. But if something's kind of working, give it a month. Don't just jump around. Energetically, I want you to pay attention how it makes you feel. So for you, if you're like, okay, I've got 50 people to, to, to share with. Okay. Hey, not sure if you've um, if you you've ever thought about building something on the side, but I actually uh, have a home based business I run. Can I share with you how I've been able to add an additional stream of income to my family? Uh, family is much, you know, whatever how you want to say. Oh yeah, sure, cool. I'll take a look. Fifty people a day. You're like fifty. Next day, fifty, and that works for you. You like that number? You're like yeah, right? Fire. Cool. That's awesome. Okay. 
I don't like, you know, just spamming. There's a difference. You look at their profile, make a connection, share with them, okay? Some of you, that doesn't feel good to you. Why are you doing that? Why are you trying to build your business in a way that doesn't feel good to you? So the second thing I want you to do, and this is why I see an issue, is people are trying to be like me or another trainer, and it doesn't feel right to you. So you have to figure out what your voice look like. The best advice I can give you is to think to yourself, what would, and maybe go hang out with some people in real life, what would it be like if I was just chatting with somebody at a book club? We used to have a book club in our, well, I think we still have a book club in our neighborhood, but everybody just gets hammered and I, you guys know I don't drink, so it's just kind of, eh. So I don't really go to book club anymore, but I joined book club when I got into network marketing so I could be around other women. When you have babies, you just change diapers and clean your clothes all the time because they throw up on you all the time. I wasn't around adults very much, so I joined book club. And it taught me how to just talk. People are like, what do you do? I'm like, oh, actually, you know, I work at a health club, but on the side, I'm actually an entrepreneur. Um, I help other women to build home-based businesses from their cell phones. And they'd be like, from their cell phones? What do you mean? And that's always the question I get. So in, that's in real life. So I translate that onto social media with the voice memo. Oh yeah, this is what I do. I was able to build it on the side, nooks and crannies of my day from my phone, quit my job a year ago, walked away from corporate America, and now I do this full time and I'm able to be there for my kids and impact other thousands of women. And people are like, wow, that's so interesting. Tell me more, okay? So for you, get in real life. Go be around real people and go talk to them and share with what, share them. Try it at the grocery store with a stranger. What's gonna happen? The, the cashier is gonna give you a dirty look. If that's okay, you just walk out of the grocery store and move on. I want you to go play around with real life situations so you can stop being weird when it comes to Messenger, right? Don't we just suddenly like, oh, hello, Melanie. I noticed you have a beautiful smile. Like you would never say that to Melanie in real life. So don't make it weird, okay? So find a strategy that works for you. Number three, you are sharing too quickly. That's a problem I see with people. What I mean by that, I'm not talking about cold messaging versus building a relationship. You are sharing what you're you're sharing about your product or service or asking them to take a look too soon. You're skipping steps. You have to find their pain point first, okay? You have to find their pain point first. So what you can do is say, tell them your story and say, oh, uh, you know, what about you? Like, have you ever struggled with your weight before? Or do you have any hair issues? My hair is calm right now, but you saw it before, right? Oh, have you ever struggled with your hair before? Oh, do you, you, do you have any, um, do you have sensitive skin or any other issues with your skin? And she, the person tells you, if they don't tell you, they're, they don't respond, you guys are just not open, move on, okay? I had a girl just sent me a bunch of messages and she was like, what do I do? It's, I'm like, move on, just move on, okay? Don't hang out with like the same 10 people and just follow up every day, move on. So if they respond, you're in business, okay? If they respond, you have pain points. You have pain points and then you can share more with them. Say, hey, can I get you some more info? Throw them in a three-way chat and move on, okay? So you don't wanna skip steps because what we're doing and seeing is people are saying, oh, hey, are you open to taking a look? And they're like, sure, what is it? Oh, here's, some, here's this video, can you watch this video? You're gonna send them a video when you know nothing about their pain points. You don't know if, what if they're loaded, they have an inheritance, and you send them a video about how to make money and sail around the world and they're like, I don't care about money. I wanna make an impact and change people's lives. You're shooting yourself in the foot and it's actually kind of ignorant. So instead of playing that way, let's get savvy a little bit, right? Let's listen, let's be compassionate. So get those, get their pain points from them, just straight up ask. If you don't have a flow, flow for that, I did a video on it a couple weeks ago. I have the dry erase board in the video. You can watch the flow chart for that, okay? Really important. So don't share too quickly, slow your roll. Number four is you're not following up enough less than one third of leads are never followed up on. Can I repeat that? Less than one third of leads are never followed up on. So if you're a follow-up queen, put I rock at follow-up below. If you're like, I just need to get organized, put I need organization. I wanna see it on there for you guys because, oh, I gotta tell you so I got something in a second anyway. Don't let me forget. So follow-up is key. If there's 100 people you talk to, a 30, 33 of them you never even follow up with once. I was followed up with eight times from my friend when she introduced me to network marketing. What if she would have just done one time or two times or three times? Now, most people are three to five. It's probably the average, the real average in network marketing, not marketing in general with commercials, but us communicating and following up three to five times. Okay, it's not eight times. I was extremely 
unique, as you probably have noticed, I'm a very unique person. Kind of always go against the grain there a little bit. Got me in lots of trouble in my life, but so far it's been paying off for me as an entrepreneur. And so what if that person want to follow it up? I want you to ask yourself, what, where's my next runner? Where's my next rock star? Where's the next person that I get an amazing story from? The next person I change her life with my product. I change her life because I bring her onto my team and she flourishes and then she recruits a bunch of people or she just shows up every week on that team call and she's smiling and she's pumped to learn and she's just the light of our team. Where is she? She's in your next follow up. So get organized. What does that look like for you? I'm not you. So you can't go, oh Kimberly, I don't know. I just, I try Trello, it doesn't work. Well then I, I gotta, you're an entrepreneur, you're a business owner, it's not. Anyone else's responsibility to figure out how you're gonna stay organized is yours. You have to get on that if you wanna be able to maximize those follow-ups, okay? And also, five is your numbers are weak. Okay, my, the fifth thing I see is people's numbers are weak. They're just not sharing with enough people. You might be having conversations and you're on social media posting and you're interacting with other people's pages, but you're just straight out not having enough conversations where you legit say, hey, have you ever tried this before? Have you heard of this before? Um, if I could show you how to make a couple extra hundred dollars a month without doing anything different uh, with your full-time job, would you take a look at that? All easy questions. You're just not doing that, right? You're not. So be honest with yourself. Look yourself in the mirror and say, I want this. I want this. Whatever it is that you want, you can have it. The only thing between what you want is you. It's you. It's not your ability to, to close. It's not your ability to do Facebook Live like me. It's not how you look. It's not how much you weigh. So just let all that BS go, okay? It is literally you looking in the mirror, making that decision and saying, okay, I'm gonna do it. Nothing's gonna get in my way. So I wanted to share with you guys, You, if you wanna get text alerts on when I go live, just text Gold Digger, G-O-A-L, Digger, you know, Gold Digger, one word, to 484848. Hope you can remember that, because it's pretty easy. 484848, okay, who, this the thing won't go backwards. Who's excited to hear from Courtney Epps, you guys? Oh my gosh! Stay on right now because you have to register to get her masterclass. She's agreed to do a masterclass for my people. So put L-I-N-K, L-I-N-K, right there, right there, L-I-N-K. You will get a, a many chat message and you just click webinar registration for Courtney Epps. She just spoke at Tony Robbins events to Tony Robbins event to give you the caliber of this lady. I've seen her uh, with pictures with Les Brown, which you guys know how much I love him. And this lady, uh, I believe she did network marketing, but she legit is just focused on home-based businesses and helping entrepreneurs. She's helping them to not pay as much in taxes. Did you know when you buy a vehicle, you can actually write off a big chunk of that? I don't know all the rules because I'm not her, but she's gonna do a masterclass for us tomorrow. If you register, because it's in the morning, it's at 11 a.m. Central, if you register, you'll get the replay. If you don't register, please just register because it's a lot for us to handle afterwards. She's amazing, so she's gonna show you how to not pay a bunch of taxes. Also, if you put L-I-N-K, you'll get the link to this book. John Maxwell just re released a book, The Power of Five for Network Marketers. I had the opportunity to co-teach the course with him. I wasn't like in the room with him, but I felt pretty like, oh my word, I was a little nervous to do it. So he's decided to pour into the network marketing industry, and the cool thing is you can't buy this book in stores. It's only sold through his ambassadors. So if you put L-I-N-K, you'll get the link for the book. It is, I recommend this book for every network marketer. It's about mindset and growth and connection. It's just epic. What a great gift too. So when people are new on your team or they rank advanced, The Power of Five, it's, it's an easy read, would be really, really great for them. And last but not least, you can also put L-I-N-K. Um, they are expanding uh, uh, globally. They said they're rolling that out right now. So yeah, it'll be global. L-I-N-K, drop that as well if you want to get the link to Rank Makers Live. I am going to be there and there's some people on my team that are coming, so I'd like to get us all together. So I have a unique referral link, so if don't just Google it, click the link so you can save it if you're not gonna register right now. But I heard that the hotel is selling out, so what I want you guys to do, it's October 3rd, 4th, and 5th. It is going to be the network marketing event of the year, okay? So it's going to be jam-packed. There are 1,500 people registered already. I think they're trying to get 2,500 people there. I mean, could you imagine a room full of, it's all generic, right? It's not like your com company convention. 
and it's going to be amazing. So it's October 3rd, 4th, and 5th in Orlando, Florida at the Omni Hotel. So get your ticket now because I think the prices will go up too. People are selling things. I'm a huge advocate of going to events, as you guys know, but we can meet and we can mastermind together and just digest everything. What a great way to finish the last quarter of the year as well because a lot of people just October, November, December is a really vulnerable time. It's probably the second worst time of year outside of the June and July months because of the holidays. So how amazing would it be to go fill up your cup, get a plan together, have that momentum, and there are uh, bonus courses right now that um, are being dropped in the group once you go. So it's called Rank Makers Live. I will be there. Um, if you click or if you put L-I-N-K, you'll see the link to register. So if you're going to go and you register, just let me know. Shoot me a message so we can connect um, and make sure we can meet each other and all that good stuff. So thanks for being on tonight and uh, just excited about this information for you guys so we can get some changes made and you can feel more confident with your recruiting as well. So thanks for being on, have a great night, and I'll see you later, bye.